everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa, if you're new around here. Today's video is gonna be a what's new in Ikea for autumn. And also I'm gonna show you a little haul of everything that I bought as well at the end of this video. So if you would like to see that, then just keep watching. And also today's video is a collaboration with my friend Freya Farrington. Now, a lot of you have actually mentioned to me in the past, you should follow Freya. You do really similar videos. Um, Freya has also recently moved into her new home, a period property. I think it was built in 18, 70 or 1890 between that kind of time which is crazy so it's a really old property she's got a full renovation going on so if you would like to check out her channel please do I will leave a link down below she is also doing an Ikea video today so if you'd like to watch that definitely go watch it go subscribe and tell her I sent you and if you've come over from Freya's channel then welcome my name is Lisa I'm a mum of three boys we moved into our new home in November last year and we are renovating it we absolutely love this home it's an older property as well and we are just sharing our renovation journey on this channel I also share lifestyle videos DIYs hauls and all of that kind of good stuff so if you are new then please stick around and hit that subscribe button and let's get into the video shall we first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight into the Ikea what's new in so you can come around the store with me and my husband and yeah let's go have a look at what's new in store So the first thing I see is lots of autumnal colours today. Over here, look. I love these dried flowers, do you, babe? Yeah. Look at these lights, they're so pretty. Oh God, Christmas is coming back already. Well, no, this is autumnal. I know, but it just reminds me of Christmas. And these little pumpkins. I love, the pumpkins. I love all the colours that they've got going on I in like here a bit today. Of ben I actually saw this doormat online. And I thought that was quite nice. I'd like to get that for our house, actually. Fairy yeah. lights are always good to buy, aren't they, really? Tell you what, a good idea. We should buy but... some, to be fair. Have some batteries. Hmm. Yeah. I love this frame, actually. This is really pretty. It reminds me of like, the one in the living room, you still have the big one. Yeah. Gold okay. frame. This is all very autumnal look. So, who wants to make a pie? This is definitely for pie, isn't it? Pumpkin pie, isn't it? Pumpkin pie. Yeah. Gravy. These are like old tea towels, look. Cute autumnal tea towels. I like those ones. These are quite cute. Yeah, they're nice. I, know, I don't really see what this is. This is like a storage, but it looks like a pumpkin, doesn't it? It's a different high chair. I've not seen that one before. Oh, look, and a mat for like spillage. See some orangey red over here. Some striped cushions. I always mention this i always like this i don't think this has changed much in here since the last time we were in here let's go find some new stuff i think the easiest way to switch up your decor for the seasons is by changing the pillows the cushion, pillow cases yeah, yeah. Oh, well the cushion covers <laughs> well i always get confused with that but anyway yeah, yeah, yeah. cushions on the sofa cushion covers yeah. changing them can make such a difference I and like it's it a like... really good thing to do like on a low budget yeah I like... it's quite a nice little nest of tables i've not seen this in here before no, it does remind, remind me of my youth. Some gorgeous autumnal colours. I like the red. Nice. I wish you could just get different covers. I suppose you can actually. Some IKEA sofas have different What's covers, don't they? Room? There's our table. That's a beauty. This looks really comfortable. Wow. Look at that, it's really deep. <laughs> Stockholm nice. so sofa. I like this little bar cart. This would be nice for like Christmas time when you've got really your friends nice. come over. You could put it's drinks on there or yeah. snacks. I think it's on the bottom. Blankets on the bottom, Mark says. Yeah, I quite like that. Yeah. You could easily use that as a side table, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah. Or as a drinks trolley, or even for kids, like, kids' storage in a bedroom. Yeah, that's nice. Like art, like that. artwork. That when I used to work in a hairdresser, they used to use these for all the dirty towels oh, by the uh, sinks. Like, you know when you wash hair? Have you got a little slot And they put, oh, you, like, open it. the lid, and then you put oh, all yeah. the towels in there to wash. This feels very cosy in here. They're very scandy. This is very scandy. With like the it's light lovely. woods. Yeah, I love that paneling. I still love it. Yeah, it's nice that one, isn't it? And I love this. And I like how they've styled this with like the wooden yeah, logs yeah. like for a wood, wood burner. Yeah. That's really nice. Oh. Cool. Very autumnal. Also love this, how they've styled this. This is cute, isn't it? Very homely. Like nice unit, right? Now. Yeah. I always love this kitchen when we come here. It's just such a like country, cosy kitchen, isn't it? I think this would be cute in like a little lodge. 
Like it's when you're going on a little staycation. The map, I don't know about the, the black actually. I prefer like the gold yeah, hardware. It's all different, isn't it? Like gold. Yeah, it's got black, different finishes. Chrome. Yeah, yeah that's you know? true. Yeah. But yeah, this is cozy. I really like this as well. This would be quite cool in our kitchen. It's like a little mini workstation or an island you could use it as. You could put like two of them together, couldn't you? you could create an island. Yeah. I think they do actually have islands in here. Another cozy room. I love the styling in here. I wish I had. I was brave enough to go really dark in a room because I do love this, don't you? Like if you had a little snug or like a little den, plum, this would be so nice. Plum color, yeah. yeah, like a burgundy color, isn't it? I like that mirror. Nice again, it smells lovely. It's got some sort of burner on, doesn't it? Cute little office area, some artwork. Yeah, look at that light. I've not seen that light in here before. That's quite different, isn't it? Quite industrial. 50 pounds, that one. Cute how they style it up there, like this. Flowers and the little presents. Really cute. This chair is really cool. It's like a bit mid-century modern, isn't it? Black faux leather, I'd assume. 179. So we're always looking for TV stands, so I just thought I'd have a look in here. I absolutely love that. Really it's nice. a really lovely colour, isn't it? It's really like a stone smart. kind of colour. It's just too wide, It's it? too wide for ours. It's a light beige, like £229. And it's got like really gorgeous gold hardware. How wide is it? It's way too big oh, for us. Really, really nice though. So I showed these last time in the vlog, but it was only online. So I thought I'd show you what they look like in person. So these are like the little benches that you could get. So you could easily oh, wow. paint these, you could use them as storage. This would be so good, wouldn't it? Yeah, nice. Nice for £35, pound. I think that's great. Just for like kids stuff in the garden. Or so yeah, you could paint that if you wanted to. I like these um, bar stools, quite nice, like tan. Like them, and these, what, these have got to be new, I've not seen these before. Wow, like a bamboo chair, look, £75. New, pounds. Really nice. Nice in like, uh, like a kitchen table. I've never seen them before. They always do such good styling in here though. To show you how it could be in your home. I love that. This is cute. A little kids area. Books. There aren't many flowers in here today. Look, it's all plants today. Little pots. Oh, it's like a little florist in here, isn't it? Yeah, this would be great for your garage. Oh, useful. Put tools on it. I've seen people put bikes on them and stuff yeah, before. Really good, it? Yeah, it's oh, good. Yeah. I want some like orange candles. We need to find some orangey ones. Orange. These are quite spring like still, aren't they? I like switching the bedding up for autumn. This is new in as well. Nice. £15, that's cute, that is. And I like that they've put the little throw on the end. We've got a striker one similar to this in Vinnie's room, haven't yeah, we? Like and that's quite autumnal as well. With like the checks. I love that. Well, this is new here. I don't know if this is meant to be... Is it meant to look like a shop? Spa. It's meant to look like a spa. This is so cute. Wow. Orca Wellness Spa. Oh, uh, look. This is clever, though, how they show you how to use their products, because that is their worktop. I like that plant as well. You can kit your spa out with IKEA, so if you've got, like, a business, you can literally use the IKEA units. These are obviously PAX yeah, units here. Sunk into the wall, and then these are the packs. Are these the pack stores? Yeah, yeah, that's what it's up. Yeah, oh, that's so cute how they've done that. Great, that's really good. great styling, IKEA. You could be like sat here doing someone's nails. Cute, isn't it? Look, they've created like another shop style room so you can kind of see how it would look. These, obviously, again, these are like the packs wardrobes. They've put handles on the drawers, so if you want, like, yeah. This is like a real dark wood. Yeah, yeah. You, you can get all of these, just like pull out drawers. It's mad, isn't it? That is really cool, isn't How it? Good is that? It's so good, isn't it? That's fab. Love a soft clothes. If you had like an open wardrobe, I think this would look really cool, wouldn't it? I love that. I love that. Look at all these. You can get any of this. Well, this is all available from IKEA. Not, oh, not the coat, surely. <laughs> Maybe this is sponsored by the actual shop. You don't know, do you? Guys, we're looking at doors for like inspiration for the boot room. What do we think of this like full wooden moment? Like a limestone effect tile and then the wooden doors, like rather than having the white. Do we think that looks quite nice? I don't know, it's hard to show it on this camera. End of the day, I suppose. We could always paint it if we had to. To go in for the full wood is a commitment though. You wouldn't have a corner one, would you though? No, it wouldn't be a corner one, no. 
it's just to kind of show the colour. Or they, this is the other option, like this colour door, which is a bit more of a mushroom colour. You know what I think? What? I think I prefer that. Do you? Because it's something we've never had, but then it could be a regret. I know, that's my problem. Because once you've done it, I know you can change you the doors, paint but... It, can you? Yeah, I know, but you're always going to have this. This is always going to be either white or wood. Paint it. I know, but I don't want to paint them. Yeah, but if you, if you had to. I, I actually do like this now, the more that I look at it. Because it'll be the tall ones, remember? Yeah, it will look quite nice. It's like a stone, isn't it? Look, these are new, actually, these doors. They're like sliding ones. The sliding oh, packs, Grimo. I like the sliding doors. No, because then they come out in front of each other, don't they? Yeah, yeah. I swear this teepee's new. I've not seen that in before. No, I've not seen that That one. reminds me of Renzo's Zara t-shirt that he's got. Yeah. It's exactly the same yeah, combo, isn't it? Mean, yeah. This is quite big bed. We need to start thinking about Orlando's big bed. He's going to be changing soon. This, no, this one actually you can extend it so it's longer. Yeah, so you it's can the same have it. size as cot that length, isn't it? It is, but like I said, you can extend it. Loads of bedding in here today. This is new. Nice colours. This is definitely new in. I quite like this. It's more of a corally red, isn't it? I love that one. That spotty one. Looks soft. What's this then? Oh, this is just uh, fabric. So you can buy the fabric. Really? To like make things look. Oh, this is last chance to buy, but it looks really lovely, doesn't it? Oh, it's gone. Oh, that's a shame. I do really like this bed. Look at it. It's like a day bed. Like a day bed to come sofa. These are always great for... Um, just throwing on the sofa to add an autumnal touch. So soft, aren't they? Rugs up here. I know, we used to have like, pure, we had brown and lime green, didn't we? About 10 carpet, years ago. Yeah. Perfect for like mud and mud. I never went for orange actually. Nice sofa, for yeah, autumn. Autumnal vibes all those years Definitely, ago. Definitely, yeah. Wow, they're already getting ready for Christmas with these. What are they? These are so Christmassy, aren't they? I don't really know what they're called, those yeah, flowers. Seen them in my life. Loads of times, but I can't think. Well, they're always around at Christmas time, aren't they? These are like a cinnamon candle, I feel like. Mm. They definitely smell like cinnamon to me. Look. Is, that, is it cinnamon? Yeah, it's got like, like, really, really, really nice for Christmas. It's very Christmassy. Yeah, yeah. Cute candles. It always smells so lovely here. It's uh, dark caramel and sea salt. Oh, it's hot. It smells like a man. Oh, what I mean, can't like, smell much quite, I can smell the sea salt, can you? Yeah. It's quite. No, I don't really like that. Same one, isn't it? It is the same, but yeah. it doesn't smell the same. No, that smells more caramelly, doesn't it? Weird. Lime, basil, and mandarin. Quite nice. They're yeah. not very strong, I'm though. I like the vanilla, to be honest. I feel like I need a vanilla one in my life <laughs> again. These are pretty. Nice yeah, little tea lights, though. Yeah, really cute. These are quite good though because they're just like little battery operated tea lights. Yeah. Look at these little guys. <laughs> That's cute, isn't it? Love it? I don't know, but I'd put like little sweet pea flowers in there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Chuck on the table, don't you? Pop puree, innit? Is that what it's called? You chuck it on the table, innit? Yeah. There you go. Oh, really? You put it in a bowl. And yeah, on the table, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I quite like them. Yeah, get a few of them. And look at these. That is so cute. Little like baby wreaths. You could easily like you could put that on a table, couldn't you, with a candle in the middle? Yeah. Or definitely. you can hang that up. Time to go pay and then we can show you what we bought. Okay, so I hope you got a good sense of what's new in. I literally recently did a video, a what's new in video, about a month ago now. So if you'd like to see that and all of my other IKEA videos, then I'll link those down below for you because I've got so many IKEA videos, best buys, new in. DIYs and all of that good stuff. So I will link that down below for you. But now let me show you what I bought from Ikea. One thing I'm really annoyed about that I didn't get was the kind of dry, dried flower arrangement. I think I showed you within this video at the beginning, there was a really beautiful kind of autumnal dried flower arrangement. And cause I was vlogging, I completely forgot to like pick one up and then I didn't see one around the store after that. So that was my fault, but I did pick up this gorgeous wreath very gorgeous autumnal simple wreath. You could easily put this like on a table and then put like a vase on it and some other autumnal pieces like some pumpkins and stuff. But I think I might hang this up somewhere around the house. So I got this gorgeous wreath. This is what it looks like. How lovely is that? Super simple. And it's something that I'm gonna be able to get out every year when it's autumn time. What I'll do as well is I'll link all of the pieces that I've bought down below for you in the description because I can't quite remember all of the prices. If you've been following me for a little while, what is something I get from Ikea every time? I'll let you write it before I show you. Have you guessed it? 
Of course it's dimes. And they survived the trip home. Usually one of these is gone by the time we get home. I'm really, really naughty. But yeah, I got two packs of dimes because you have to get dimes when you go to Ikea, don't you? They're just yummy. I also got this cute little wreath. Really gorgeous kind of a smaller wreath compared to the other one has got a little like hanging section here like a little hanging ring there so i can just hang it up or again it would be great on a table i thought this would be really lovely on a table with one of those really large like pillar candles i thought that would look really beautiful like a red one or an orange one i think that would look so so nice so i got one of those again you could get like loads of these and create a real gorgeous display but I just got the one today. A couple of not so exciting items. I got some flannels <laughs> because I haven't really got any flannels and my boys are constantly outside running around in the mud and I thought I need to get some flannels because I've literally just thrown away some of like the sponges that we use in the bathroom. So I got a couple of neutral flannels there, just like this kind of cream and white one. And then this one is more of like an oatmeal kind of color. Just a couple of those. I absolutely love IKEA towels. They last so well. So if you're looking for some towels, definitely get them from IKEA. I also got this kind of smaller hand towel just to go downstairs in our downstairs bathroom. It's got a little hanging loop there if you need it. And it's also got this kind of waffle design. It's like a waffle design on one side and then toweling on the other. So I just thought that'd be quite a nice little hand towel. And again, my boys have got grubby hands. So I thought this colour would be perfect. <laughs> the next item I got was this. I think this is called, is it pot puree? Pot puree? Pot puree? I don't know, but it smells gorgeous. It's kind of like, I think it's vanilla, the fragrance. It does look like it's got vanilla ice cream pictured on the front there. So I got two of those and I thought I could just pop those in like some little bowls around the house to just like create a really lovely scent around the house. It does smell lovely. This reminds me of my mum because she always used to have like pop purees around the house when I was younger. So I picked up some of those. I don't know if I've got some of these before actually. Maybe I've wanted to and then I just didn't pick them up. I think this might be my first time. I did get some candles as well, actually. Actually, I just got the one candle and it was this one. It's a larger one. And what I liked about this one is that it's got like a gold bit around the rim of the candle. Again, this is like, oh, that vanilla smell. The Ikea vanilla scent is just gorgeous. This is what the candle looks like. Again, quite autumnal with the kind of gold detailing around it. This is the three wick candle as well. So it's gonna last me a little while. I'm usually one for more of like wax melts. I use wax melts all the time, but more recently, I don't know whether it's because, you know, autumn is almost here. I am getting into candles a little bit more again. So I got this three wick candle. It's gonna be in my kitchen and I absolutely love, love, love the fragrance of that one. So you'll remember these from the new in section of the video. They're like little faux pumpkins and vegetables, I guess. I'm not too keen on the colour of these. They're a little bit more of like a mint green, which I think is quite cute, but not really for autumn. I don't know. They might look a bit cuter, you know, around the house, dotted around. They do look quite green here. So I could easily paint these if I wanted to. So that's why I got them. They were super cheap. I think they were literally like two or three pounds, but I thought they're great for like a little autumnal display so I got those I mean it's it's a soft neutral color so I don't really mind it too much but definitely one that you could DIY and paint to match your decor if these were like gold they would look really pretty wouldn't they Mark picked Vinny up a clock for his bedroom just a little clock because he's always telling us the time and he hasn't actually got a clock in his bedroom so we got that one and then also I got these now this I need to see if I can open it hold on this was the only one in the shop left and I thought this would be really lovely in the kids' playroom. Hold on, they go together like so. So it's like a little rainbow. Obviously, you can kind of stack them next to each other or within one another. But I just thought that was so gorgeous. It's got this kind of like speckled design on it. And then this one is more of like um, an ombre kind of rainbow. But I love the colour of it. It's got that kind of peachy, neutral tone with the blue speckled one. I just thought that was so, so cute. And then some other final pieces. I have no idea why Mark got these, but we've got some more spoons and forks because I feel like in our house, spoons and forks seem to disappear. I don't know whether they go somewhere in the dishwasher and get lost, but they're always disappearing. So he's obviously stocked up and got some spoons and 
forks there. So I also got these kind of like little cork boards. They had smaller sizes. I thought this was quite a nice size for candles. I mean, I could put this candle on it, couldn't I look? And that gives that real like nice rustic kind of autumnal feel. So I love that. I'm actually gonna use that for that candle. That is really cute, isn't it? So I've got three of those in a pack. They had some smaller ones as well, like more like coaster sized ones, but I got these three. These were in the kind of kitchen section. Um, but yeah, those are super cute. And then the final thing that I bought from Ikea was these, um, what are these? Tea towels. It is a tea towel, isn't it? They had two different styles. They had more of a like burnt orange and black design. And then this is like more of a kind of gray with this gorgeous burnt orange color. So this is the kind of design on here. How gorgeous is this? This is just so cute. So we've got that one there. And again, I just like the color of them. I thought it adds a little autumnal touch to the kitchen. And yeah, those are all of my pieces that I bought from Ikea. I didn't go too crazy today because I have recently been there. So if you'd like to check out all of those other Ikea videos, I will link them down below for you. And like I said, don't forget to go and check out Freya's video. I'll link it down below for you because she has also done a What's New in Ikea and has shared a haul with you today. So if you are new around here, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I would absolutely love to have you stick around. Also, leave me a little comment and tell me something about you. I would love to know more about you. So thank you so much for watching, guys and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.